Um, do you sense that things are uh, in such a state economically and politically uh, that, that whoever the Conservative Party elect as their new leader and indeed as uh, their new Prime Minister uh, will make a, a lot of difference to the battle between now and the next general election? I don't think it will make a lot of difference. I think the, uh, the Conservatives have been reckless reckless with their own party, which I, I'm not, that's not my priority, but also reckless with the economy and, and, and the country as a whole. And I think it will be very difficult, as it was with John Major, as it has been with uh, De Faber Prime Ministers, once the public have a uh, set view in their mind of incompetence and that the government is damaging them and doesn't have their interests at heart, uh, it would be whoever the Conservatives uh, select as leader and minister, uh, it will be an uphill task, even if they uh, secure some credibility with the markets. It will be a seriously uphill task uh, to secure credibility with the electorate. I guess the biggest guess single the... challenge for you, Graham, and, and your colleagues is that, uh, as you describe it, that uphill struggle... Uh, the hill can run all the way to the spring of 2025. I heard Sakir Starmer uh, on the BBC last night saying that several Tory backbenchers are beginning either to talk directly to him or to friends of his, saying that they could just possibly feel that the time has come. Uh, and I believe that the SNP are putting down a no-confidence no motion uh, that your, you and colleagues are being uh, encouraged to support. Do you genuinely, hand on heart, think that that might come about? I think there might be a motion of no confidence. I find it, much as I would like it uh, to pass, I find it difficult to believe uh, that Conservative MPs will vote uh, for uh, an early election. I mean, it's a dreadful cliche, but it would be Turkey's voting for an early uh, Christmas, and I can't see them doing it. Sadly, it will only be another major crisis where the government clearly can't carry on and have a majority in the Commons, which would lead to a general election. But there is no doubt in my mind that's what the country needs at the present uh, time. Uh, the Conservatives have not only failed in their policies, uh, they, on top of the problems caused by Ukraine and COVID, they have added uh, to those problems by reckless expenditure during COVID on uh, test and trace and uh, personal protective e equipment and other areas of uh, waste. And they've just wasted billions by upsetting the markets. And so that both the government and individuals have to pay more for any money they want to uh, Borrow. So we certainly need a new uh, government at, at, at the present time, but I can't see uh, there being a Commons majority for that, sadly.